Tron back here with another uh, video from my uh, drone tech and camera channel. And today I want to revisit a uh, an old friend here, the um, DJI Mavic Air 2 that was released uh, this spring, uh, around the end of April. Uh, we started getting it in, uh, receiving it in May. It's actually still my drone of the year, but it's kind of got lost in the shuffle here recently with all the hubbub and videos and news about the new DJI uh, Mini 2 has been stealing all the headlines lately. But uh, I, you know, I wanted to get out there and, you know, uh, show the uh, the Air 2 some love also. And I noticed the Fly app got a little update uh, recently too that I wanted to, you know, test the new, um, you know, uh, firmware out on or the new app uh, up on. I'm going to give you some details of what uh, the Fly app, some of the notes of the Fly app update here. So got my phone right here. Um, okay, we're talking about version one. Dot two one of the Fly app, and it was released one week ago. Okay, what's new? It says it's fixed uh, issue, uh, a quote, weak signal, adjust antennas, uh, pop-up messages did not disappear automatically when using the Mavic Mini. Okay, so that was an update for the Mini. Uh, and it said it fixed some issues and optimized the overall quality. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't see. Okay, here's a comment here. Uh, the Air 2, they couldn't figure out how to change the resolution in quick shots. Uh, to older comments. Anyhow, so we just wanted to get out there and see, you know, uh, if there was any changes uh, with the new uh, version of the flap for the, for the Air 2. Not the Mini 2, but the Air 2. And see if it, uh, you know, popped up uh, some problems that weren't there before. So um, I took it over to um, a local town nearby. Ocean City, New Jersey. It's a couple town. It's on a barrier island below me, south of me, and uh, you know, pretty big town to have a big boardwalk. So it was a beautiful day on Saturday, um, December twenty first. Uh, but by the time I got over to Ocean City, big cloud bank had rolled in, uh, but there were still some breaks in the clouds to let a little sun pop you through. So it kind of tested the Air 2's kind of dynamic range, dealing with a lot of you know uh, dark shadows and and. Uh, just overall, you know, cloudiness uh, versus the, uh, you know, the highlights that were popping up from the sun kind of through holes of clouds. So it was kind of an interesting scenario. And uh, a lesser drone than the Mavic Air 2 wouldn't have been able to handle that kind of contrast of kind of light and dark in the sky and, and the effect that it made on the ground. But uh, but the, so the little Air 2 was up to the challenge, not saying that... A one sensor type drone with it, like the Mavic uh, 2 Pro or the EO 2 Pro would not have even been able to do a better job with it, but the, the Air 2 uh, was good enough for this task. Um, and uh, I'm going to roll the video for you and uh, we'll come back at the end. All right, here you go.
Alright folks, um, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a short one. Um, I was losing something quick over there when those clouds rolled in. I did not notice kind of any changes at all with the, um, you know, with the Air 2, um, you know, on the version 1.12 of the app versus before. So flew flawlessly. And I also uh, used um, my uh, new uh, Yagi antennas. They're a special Yagis that fit the uh, controller for the, uh, you know, the Mavic Air 2. So I will include a photo of the Yagis on the antenna right here. And also, folks, I use the um, the new landing skid. Uh, you know, I'll put it, I'll put it on the screen down below what the brand was, but I used a, a foldable landing skid that came out locked down that raised the Mini Two up above, um, you know, a couple inches higher to avoid like a sandy situation, like I took off on the beach. I did use a landing pad, but it was even more protection to keep the sand out of the cab or and the gimbal uh, mechanism. So. Uh, you know, I always like to kind of have this protection from any dirt, gravel, dust, or whatever. Uh, and in some instances, you know, when I forget a landing pad, or but sometimes it doesn't hurt these both. So these um, skids were easy to take going off, pop the pop on off, very functional, very secure. So um, I'm going to include a picture right here. All right, so I'm going to include links. Uh, you know, in the video where you can buy, you know, not only the Maverick 2, but the accessories that I showed here. I'm going to give you the Amazon links and maybe I'll throw a DJI link in for the, uh, for the Air 2. So, um, and uh, don't forget to, I uh, mean, you know, subscribe to the uh, channel and uh, ring the notification bell to uh, see more videos like this. And, and don't forget that thumbs up if you got anything out of the video and we will uh, see you in the next one.